Hey guys, it's Nuo Master, and welcome back to another Redstone video. In this video, I'm going to be showing off this. This is a Carry Look Everywhere adder, or actually a Carry Look Everywhere ALU, but it is missing something. It's missing a certain Redstone component. It's not pistons, because these don't have pistons in them anyways. But if you look around, you can kind of see that it looks kind of weird. And it's kind of fat. But that's because it's missing something. It's missing redstone torches. Right, this ALU doesn't use any redstone torches at all. All it uses is comparator logic. I'll just demonstrate how you invert with a comparator. You just Take the line you want to invert it, plug it in the side, and then power it from the back with a strength of 15 using a redstone block or a chest or whatever. And then if you power that, you can see that it inverts if the server wasn't laggy. And that is how I did all the logic of this Carry Look Everywhere adder. Just that. So why? Well, I'll get to that later, but first let's Let's sh just show that this is an adder, technically an ALU, and it can do ALU things. Let's add 3 plus 5. 3 plus 5 is a very um, interesting addition problem because it tests pretty much all the possible addition carries, so it's, very, it's a very good operation to test adders with, and we did get our answer of 8, so it's correct. And this is an 8-bit carry look everywhere adder. And I had to do some really weird stuff with signal strengths for it to work, since comparators use signal strength for, um, yeah, they use signal strength, so I had to use some really weird signal extension stuff. This ALU is 8 ticks, the adder is 6 ticks. Um, I know it could be 4 ticks, blah, 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 but that's with torches. This is a lot harder to get it to 4 ticks with comparators because you need to repeat signals sometimes like right here and here so six ticks is really good for a comparator only comparator and repeater only uh, ALU with the carry look everywhere adder and I'll explain why later why that doesn't really matter anyways uh, let's do one more operation with this uh, let's and so it's invert A, invert B, or, and invert the output, which is an AND gate. And if I AND, and if I AND, let's just uh, flick all of these bottom levers on, and then alternate on the top ones. So we should get an alternate, alternating output. like so. So that's good. It works. So we have an ALU and it doesn't use torches at all. Why? Why would I ever do that? Well, there's a guy on the server named Darkroom. Uh, he's making a computer that has absolutely no torches in it. And the reason is torches burn out when you clock them at two takes. I'll just give a little demonstration of that. I need to grab a torch since I actually didn't have it in my inventory. So if I stick a torch like this and just make a little clock with it, as you can see, it burns out. And that causes issues when you are pipelining a CPU at two ticks, like Darkroom is. So uh, he had some other ALU that Proper English made that had uh, no torches in it, but he asked me to make a Carry Look Everywhere version because they're better for what he was doing. So I did, and this is the result. This is his ALU. And I have some streaming hardware here, so just so I can demonstrate how you can pipeline this at two ticks. Basically what that means, if you don't know what that means, is you can, you can send a whole bunch of data through it really fast because it's synchronized and everything happens at the same time. So you can have, it actually has more than one problem within the adder 
at once, but at different stages of the process. So, what is this? Oh, it's just a sign. Um, let's enter some numbers into this streaming hardware here, and I will show you what I mean. So this is just a basically a serial input device. Uh, what I do is I take uh, these levers and then I save it to it. And every time I save a different number, it shifts the previous stuff in one. It's basically just a shift register. Uh, let's do five plus three a bunch of times. Except every time we're going to shift it up one. So this one will be six plus ten which is 16, so we'll get like a diagonal output each time, every time we uh, get a different number, it'll be one bit higher. And let me just demonstrate. Uh, you can see here, that's the, that's the three, that's the six, and that's the uh, whatever the six times two is 12 in the uh, register here and then when I activate them all, all these will turn off at once and uh, the data will come streaming through here, stream, 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 stream through the adder and streaming through the output and then it will save it at the output and we'll have six additions done within a very short amount of time. Two ticks between each addition problem. Now did I save? Yeah, I saved that one. Okay, let's add a higher number. And uh, if my voice sounds different, that's because I got a new microphone, which it, it works really well. It's a Blue Yeti. The only problem that I've had with it, and you probably have noticed it by now if you're watching this video, is that you can hear my CPU fans and my mouse clicks and keyboard clicks because it's really sensitive. Uh, there's nothing I can really do about that. Um, I'll try playing around with the settings a bit more, I guess. And... Um, yeah, I'll just have to wait till I get a desktop computer because then the fans will be far away from the microphone. So you probably hear a dull hum in the background of this video. But other than that, it works really well. It sounds really nice. So I have finished entering six numbers since I decided to make this serial line have six, six problems. I could stack this that way as many times as I want. I could make it do stream in 100 numbers and stream out 100 numbers. I would just have more tricky timing since I'd have to time it for 100, but it would still work. It would still only be two ticks per operation. Now, this is so fast that I have to set my speed, let's set it to 10, for you to be able to actually see the operation in progress. So if I hit this and then fly over here really fast, you can see it's already almost done. I, I got stuck there kind of. But you can see how fast the addition was. It was just like whoosh, done. And you, you have this nice diagonal line, which is what we I predicted what would happen. Uh, first operation was 3 plus 5. Next one was 6 plus 10. Next one was 12 plus 20. So we have 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256. Or, yeah, 256. That's the carryout, right? Carryout. 8 bit error with a carryout. And now that speed is bugging me. Uh, so yeah, that's the streaming. That's this adder streaming uh, data through it really fast. And what Darkroom is doing is he's making an entire CPU that does this, and it's going to clock it at two ticks, which is just insane. Uh, I really, I really want to see it when he's when it's done. He has uh, like torchless RAM, which is really awesome too, and stuff like that. It's really cool. But yeah, he just asked me to make this for him, and he's using my design in his CPU. So anyways, that's pretty much all I had for this video. Two tick pipelined care look everywhere adder of awesomeness because torches are overrated. Alright, anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.